Here is a 1984 Sony model SLF30 Betamax video recorder. This has a problem with the output video signal. I've made a test recording of color bars and what you see right now is a photo I've taken off the screen and you should hopefully be able to see these very fine dark horizontal lines. If you can't see them try to switch to a different video resolution in the YouTube player. Those stripes are relatively easy to repair, but the instructions are in German language and you have to access the 2005 version of a website using the Wayback Machine to even see them. So I thought I'd make this quick video and show you how to repair this problem. I'm now playing back the color bar recording once again and I'm measuring with the scope pin 3 of connector 103, the red connector of the power supply. This should be 12 volts DC, but as we look up at the scope with AC coupling, we can see there is about a 40 millivolts peak to peak 50 hertz ripple on those 12 volts, so that's not good. Take out the power supply connectors, the screws on the back, two of them, two screws on the side, and a screw right there in the corner, and over there in the corner, so a total of six screws, and then the entire power supply separates from the VCR. Release all connectors, cut all cable ties, take out two screws, and then you can move out this weird circuit board sandwich. And now we can finally see the component that is responsible for the ripple. It's C104 in the center of the picture. And I wonder if this 39 ohm power resistor right next to it is responsible for this little capacitor going bad. The online instructions also suggest to replace C103 because it's exactly the same type of capacitor and it's right next to C104. This repair is also a good chance to swap the gray and blue wires going to the primary of the transformer. They connect right here and right there. You swap the connections around and that switches the transformer from 220 volts to 240 volts, which is a much better choice for the roundabout 230 volts that we have in the mains here in Europe today. The circuit board sandwich is back together. The two suspicious capacitors have been replaced. The originals were 22 microfarads at 16 volts, 85 degrees Celsius. The new ones are 22 microfarads, 50 volts, and 105 degrees Celsius. Now, I have one of the original capacitors on the component tester. And as you can see, once this is done testing, the ESR is only 2.1 ohms. That's not too bad. I'm surprised that that would have such a massive impact on the output video signal. Now, the replacements that I put in had an ESR of 0 0.8 ohms, so there is a difference, but it's not much. Now, on the other side of the sandwich, while I was at it, I also replaced these 47 microfarad at 16 volt capacitors, but these are still fine, so that was unnecessary. Everything has been put back together. The VCR is running, so at least I didn't break anything, but I'm probing the power supply, and as you can see, yeah, 
I was right in saying the difference in ESR between the old and the new capacitors seemed rather low. That didn't change anything. It's exactly the same as it was before. I've made another test recording of color bars, but just as expected, no difference at all. The dark horizontal lines are still there, so I guess this is a fail. Now, I'm not among those who believe that any problem can be fixed just by replacing capacitors. Absolutely not. But this is what I read in the internet. It seemed to make sense, so I gave it a try. I don't have a service manual for this recorder, so no schematics. So I can't really investigate any further. So I guess now it's your turn. If you have any helpful suggestions, post them in the comments below. Sometimes things just don't go to plan. Thank you for watching.